Hi, I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm here with Sherry McConnell of A Quilting Life, and she's gonna guide us through block two of the Bella Skill Builder quilt. Use a 2.0 stitch length and press according to the pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate how you make the orange peel blocks. We're going to use the Impressions Quilting Templates, and we're going to use Pellon Lightweight Sew-In Interfacing. Um, this is a method that Lori Holt uses all the time and it's a great method if you're worried about um, getting good shapes and you want an easy way to do it. Um, we're gonna take the impression template and we are going to trace around it on the interfacing. We're gonna use a sew line pencil. And for our Caribbean um, color, we're gonna be using four inch templates. Okay, after you get this shape traced, you're going to layer the interfacing on top of the fabric. And what kind of interfacing are you using and today? This is that lightweight sew-in by Pellon. Okay. And it's just really thin. It's not gonna add too much body. Um, you can prepare all of these ahead of time and, and chain piece them, makes going fast, um, because you're just gonna sew directly on your drawn line. You don't have to leave an opening for turning, you're just gonna stitch all the way around the orange peel shape that you've drawn. And so it'll look like this. You can see on the back side we've got the orange peel shape. Next you're gonna trim, and you wanna get pretty close to the edge. You don't want a lot of bulk in there. So you're gonna trim closely, and I like to really um, get close to the edge where the points are. Um, okay, then bef in order to be able to turn it inside out, we're going to kind of separate the interfacing from the fabric. We're going to snip a little hole and we're actually going to cut this down. So that now we can we can turn this inside out and we're going to have by turning that inside out we're going to have a nice finished edge with our fabric so it won't ever ravel i like to just kind of go around the whole thing with my fingers and then to make sure those edges get turned out all the way you can use that purple thing um, is a great turning tool and you just kind of gently pull out those corners those points and then when you're done you can press it and it'll come out really nice and flat and see you've got a perfect perfect little orange peel and no raw edges so it'll last right. a lot longer in your quilt right yeah and so the next step, we're going to put it on our squares. Okay. Okay, one great thing about the It's So Emma Impressions template set is that it comes with a placement guide that really helps when you're putting your orange peel on your background fabric. Um, so you can use a light box and place your background square over the diagram, and you'll be able to see through exactly where your orange peel should go. Um, at this point, you can either use an acid-free washable glue to kind of keep it there, or you can just stick a pin right in the center um, so that it stays where it needs to stay while you applique it. So let's go to the sewing machine. To make the rest of the orange peel blocks for the quilt, you will make seven of the Caribbean, you will make 16 of the peach, and 16 of the raspberry. And you'll need to note, and it shows on the pattern, that the, the peach and the raspberry are with a three inch template. Okay, now you will assemble, assemble your orange peel blocks using the pattern diagram. Make one 
peach block, one raspberry block, one Caribbean block, and leave that last um, orange peel out by itself for now. That's all for this month. Come back next month for our next skill builder block. See you then.